Oh, okay, man, there you are. Look, I need to holler at you. I'm going away for the weekend. Principal Greer and I are driving to a conference in Milwaukee. You mean I'm gonna have the whole crib to myself? I'm gonna have more chicken heads in here than a Jay-Z video. Slow your roll, junior baller. Look, that means I'm putting my trust in you. Which means no parties, no girls, and no freaky 900 calls. In short, don't do nothing that makes you happy. Well, you've been really quiet over there, Piggy. I mean, normally by now I would have had to tune you out about an hour ago. Yeah, well, I just got a lot on my mind. You know how that is. So many things to consider. Professional, personal, important decisions, career moves, friendship. Boy, you really know me, don't you? You know, you're right. I do have something to get off my chest. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So what's on your mind? I'm gonna need your half of the gas money. Just pull over. Let me drive. Fine, but I'm still gonna need your half of the gas money. Man, it is really snowing out there. I can't wait to make angels in the snow with my one-armed Uncle Louie. <laughs> Poker time? Man, I can't DJ Coach's party with this. Man, you should try it. Nothing gets a Kuznaki party going like beer, kielbasa, and some knee-slapping polka, baby. It's the jam. Hey, boys, we got a problem with the party. Our apartment flooded. What happened? Well, let's just say spurs and water beds don't mix. <laughs> Now, the party's in an hour, so we're gonna move everything over here. Oh, hold up, coach. Mr. Hightower left me in charge, and he said absolutely no parties. Can't let you do it. Come on, Romeo. It's one little party. Yeah, it'll be over by midnight or four. I'm sorry, you two, but rules are rules. I know you're disappointed now, but you're gonna see in the long run. It's for the best. What a chip. We don't gotta be asking him. We're the responsible adults here. He ain't the boss of us. Hey, right. Romeo, we having a party over here. And we promise it won't be a problem. So set up your equipment and let's get this party started. I don't know about this. Mr. Hightower's counting on me. Don't worry about it. They look like well-behaved, clean-cut adults. I think we can trust them. Regina, why don't you slow down? You can hardly see what's in front of you here. That is so true in so many ways. Look, Steve, I know all about your little job interview at Richmond. Sell out. Oh, Navita. Oh, she can tell on me, but she won't mention how she leaves the cafeteria door open so her cousin Nicorette and her kids can get something to eat on the weekend. Oh, great. There's a roadblock. A roadblock? Oh, no. Quick, throw it out the window. Give me a Tic Tac. Give me... Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. The flashback of 79 Funkadelic to a my <laughs> Interstate shut down. Won't be clear till morning. Great. Now that just figures. I've driven all the way across Wisconsin with my two-faced friend, and now, to top it all off, I can't even make it to the conference? This is a disaster. Is there a problem here, ma'am? Uh, no, no, officer. There's no problem. Thank you. Have a nice day. No, actually, there is a problem. <laughs> officer, how would you feel if your partner and lifelong friend went behind your back and pursued another job in another precinct. And he didn't have the guts to tell you? Not one word. Excuse me, may I speak? No. Sounds just like my old partner, Ray. Step out of the vehicle, sir. Uh, so it's the Funkadelic 2 all over again. 